So we're in sunny Florida. <laughs> so if you have your imagination, just like moving around the country in your own backyard, huh? Yeah, sure, yeah. Okay, we so, can we're, do that. <laughs> so we're in Florida. And uh, these guys, I, I definitely see, look how pink this one is, like a pink blue. This one's super cute. Little yeah, male. that's a captive bred uh, pink blue, kind of a pinkish head, uh, ornate diamondback. Ornate. So this, so is this whole group ornate? Yeah, these are all ornate diamondbacks. All ornate. So ornate is specific to uh, Florida. Yeah, South Florida, the Keys, uh, and up the coast of uh, all the way to Tampa. So a lot of captive bred animals in here. There's a few wild cots from a while back. So who's the oldest in this group? Um, a big female right there. Probably one of the bigger females, yeah. It's very hard to tell the age of a turtle unless you hatch it, then you know the age. Right. Because the, the, the growth pattern is so different uh, every year, depending on how much food they can get. I gotta show this guy off because he's amazing. And they're called ornate. That just sounds expensive. Yeah, that's a, a, a technically it's, it's a ornate, but it's more of a blue ornate because of the, the, the blue head. This is a blue ornate, okay. Because this one's definitely a little bit hotter looking than the other ones. Tell us about these, uh, these knots on the back. These all, all diamondbacks have the little ridges on their backs. Not as pronounced as some of the other ones. Yeah, the bigger females don't really have them as much. No, they, they lose it. That's a captive bred animal. So they, they have it more pronounced. But that goes down as, as they get older. So Look at his long tail. Long tail. Different pattern. Uh, this tail seems longer than the, I mean, it's almost as long as his foot. Uh, it's more of a mature male. Okay. His, his plastron definitely has a little bit of concave to it, I can a see. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Not. But he'll grow another, you know, inch maybe. So he's not going to get much bigger than that. I mean, that's a great, great sized turtle right there. Little bumps on the top makes him look prehistoric like a dinosaur, huh? Okay, I, I'm, I have to bring this up and might annoy a couple people, but people used to eat these all the time, right? Was this not a, yeah, one of the species? This is, this is the turtle that was this eaten. This is the turtle soup, right? Yeah, turtle soup turtle. And um, I mean, that's one of the reasons it's, it's so endangered and protected nowadays, right? Yeah, it's protected now all over. Most of the, all states are protected except a few that still allow a few catches per season, but not that many are left. So it makes it... Uh, I mean, the, the population in the wild is now recovering a little bit because of that. Because they're protecting them? Yeah, okay. but you can still find them in, uh, in some of the Asian markets. You can still find them uh, for sale for food. Legally or? Uh, yeah, illegal. legally. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's tough. We have to go buy them all, huh? If I see it, yeah, I buy it. And the, none of their business what I do with it. Yeah. You know, it goes straight in my pond. So I want to touch, while these guys, I have a couple females up there running out, of, out to just chill in the sand. So I kind of want to talk about that because some people don't realize that, that the turtles actually need to get out of the water. And a lot of times they just try and put them in a tub, an aquarium, a lot of aquariums, right? Yeah, that, that, that's why I, I used to have aquariums, but it's so hard to make a land area. So yeah. that's why I invented the water land tubs because it has both land and water in a one contained area. Uh -huh. It makes it a little bit easier to control what you have and you don't have to worry about bricks breaking your glass tank. That sucks. Yeah. You've experienced that, huh? Yes, a few times. <laughs> In the so, house, broken aquarium. Yeah. No, I, I love these water nine tubs. I mean, they're, um, they're neat because you can put a whole bank of them together like you have them. It's super cool. And then you can have all the different varieties. Let's feed these guys too. Let's feed Florida. All right, we can do that. These guys are so darn cute. I can't imagine eating these guys. They're so funny. Their little face. I mean, uh, this is just regular pellet food, but they will eat fish and shrimps and, uh, um, you know, the blood worms and all that. They'll, they'll eat pretty much any kind of food you throw. Or frozen in. squid and. Yeah, they'll like eat that. all that. But the pellet food makes it nice and easy, it's got all the nutrition in it. And this is actually a fish food that I use to feed the turtles, so. But uh, it's all high protein food. Heavy protein, good for these guys, right? Yeah, yeah. They need the protein. And, and that's why I have the land area. 
so they can get out and bask and get all their vitamins from the sun. Yeah, let's talk about that more. That's one of the things that from the inside, when you said you were breaking aquariums inside your house, it kind of, kind of lost my track. But um, what, what a lot of people don't realize is important for them to completely get out, completely 100% dry off at least once a day, right? I mean, they, yeah, they have yeah. to dry out. If they, if they don't dry out, they're going to get shell rot and their skin's going to start getting all just ugly. It's just not going to look good. Right. So it's, uh, that's why I give them a, a land area. Plus I give them the, the platform because most of the turtles only go on land for, for uh, breeding purposes, for laying eggs. That's why I give them a little extra land in the middle of the tub so that they can ha be more secure so they can jump in on all sides. Right. It gives them a little more options. I mean, with, with all, mostly all turtles, the more options you give the, the animal, the better they off they are. So it makes it, uh, you know, a healthier, a healthier animal. 